then I have my professional basketball player friend, Jaquiel. If I shoot better than both of them, I'm going to the NBA. I want his contract. Oh my God. Sucks. Cock a doodle do. If you're not subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel, press the bell next to it so you get a notification every time I drop a new video. And in the words of my grandpa, subscribe, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you've noticed, NBA teams are actually scoring a lot less. And the players too. Now it could be the new NBA rule changes, changing the way the game is ref, taking away non-basketball players from players like James Harden, Trey Young, Blake Griffin. But according to some players, it could be the new NBA basketball. Now if you haven't noticed, the new official NBA basketball is made by Wilson. Wilson! That was from Castaway, Tom Hanks. But for the past 37 years, the official NBA basketball was made by Spalding. But the 30 seven years prior to that it was made by Wilson. Wilson! <laughs> but anyways from the shooting numbers and just by watching the games the NBA shooting and the NBA offense is definitely down. And players like Paul George, Devin Booker, and CJ McCollum say it could be the new NBA basketball made by Wilson. PG actually says the new Wilson ball doesn't have the same touch and softness as the Spalding ball. He also added that there's gonna be a lot of bad misses this year. Book said that the feel of the ball is inconsistent from game to game and ball to ball and CJ McCollum added that the players are still getting used to the feel of the ball. Now I will say from balls to balls, hey yo! <laughs> balls to balls and companies to companies, the balls are always gonna have different feels. Like back in the day, how we used to play with the Spalding TF-1000s. Then for some reason, everyone switched to the Wilson Evolutions. But these two balls definitely had different feels. But damn man, these NBA players, are you really gonna blame the ball for your poor ass? Shooting. Now this isn't the first time NBA players actually complained about the NBA basketball. Back in 2006, Spalding unveiled their new ball, the Cross Traction, and NBA players hated it. So much so that they reverted back to the old ball. So will the league do the same thing with this ball and say, fuck our contractual obligation to Wilson and just go back to the Spalding balls? Probably not, but will they make the balls feel the same way as the Spalding balls? So I thought it would be a great idea to test this ball through various test and shooting drills and see what all the fuss is about. New Wilson official NBA basketball test and review going one right now let's go remember to stick around till the end because i'm announcing the giveaway winners of the band nba sneakers that make you jump higher Yer. Official basketball, the new basketball in the NBA that they're using that all the players are complaining about because they're shooting a lot worse. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna shoot five threes with this ball from the corner, top of the key, in the other corner, and then we're gonna compare it to the Wilson Evolution. So with me to test it out is my, my good friend Tony, and I have my professional basketball player friend Jaquiel. Tell me your credentials. Purdue University, Hofstra University, play in Denmark, play in Turkey, and then maybe the NBA one day. One day. So you're gonna have to get used to playing with the Wilson official NBA basketball. I guess so. Ever. All right, let's test it out. Yeah! Alright, so he was one for five. I don't know, maybe the ball is bad or maybe he just can't shoot. It's a heavy ass I like that. Alright, you 
feel you thought with both the official NBA basketball and the Wilson Evolution ball? How'd they feel? Well, I will say this one is definitely a lot harder to shoot with. I don't know what it is, but it just feels, it feels weird. It feels rough, right? Yeah. It kind of feels hard. Hey, yo! But you're used to playing with like, all right, that wasn't like relaxed. It was, okay, I the, was, the I balls were hard. hard. All right, I know, I get it. Whoa! Hey, whoa, yo! It's real leather though. But you're used to playing with this overseas. They play with the real leather. It's a lot different. I don't feel right. It feels a little off, in my opinion. Rated out of five. Two. Two out of five for the official NBA basketball. Yeah, I don't really like how it feels. I mean, you shot better with the Wilson Evolution. You think that that ball's better? That one might be lighter, in my opinion. Yeah. I like one's lighter than this one. It's a little heavy. Right. I think the Wilson Evolution has more grip to it. I don't think this one has, has as much grip to it. That's probably what the issue is. But when you're sweating, hands get real moist, it's hard to shoot. So you, as a professional basketball player, do you agree with the other NBA players saying that this ball's not that good? I agree with them. He's just saying that so they can say, oh, good job. Let's invite you to the NBA. That has nothing to do with that. I'm trying to be honest. Okay, right. okay. What's the matter with you? Okay, Tony, you're out. What the? What? Johnny? <laughs> saying was uh, he was shooting tony shot the same from the first spot as jaquiel two for five and it's not a bad thing so you're basically saying tony's a bad shooter by being mad at that i, I did not say he's a bad shooter i'm just saying that at all i don't like him <laughs> he's just really annoying you know what i'm saying he has that like punchable face Yeah. <laughs> shooting with this first, I felt weird shooting with the evolution grip. It just felt weird, it felt heavier. I wasn't used to shooting with it after this. Is it like, you know, when after you do some push ups and then you shoot basketball? After lifting weights, yeah. No. Alright, oh, my bad, Tony. I didn't know you saw I went to the gym once. Which ball do you like more? I still like that one, but maybe I should play with this one. Do you see why NBA players complain about this ball, though? Not really. Tell Devin Booker, Paul Jordan, you're gonna call them their. I'm not gonna do that. Rate the ball out of five. Four out of five. All right, my turn. And now it's time for a real shooter. That might be the worst one of all of Hey, guys. listen, if I shoot better than both of them, I'm going to the NBA. I want his contract. He didn't let me stretch. <laughs> he didn't let me stretch either. I'll he didn't let me both shoot you out. What? Hey, yo, hold on. <laughs> hey, yo, hold, hold on. on, wait a minute. What kind of channel is this? Tell me how I missed my first nine shots and I still ended up with the same score as these bums. I had six, he had six. I had five. Six, five. Listen, Devin Booker, Paul George, I understand because I'm a shooter. I don't normally miss that much. It has to be the ball. That's Evan, what... Evan, it's okay. It's okay, Evan. You're the worst shooter out of all of us. It's okay. It's okay. Fix your chain. It's okay. My chain's better than yours anyway.
He's still the worst shooter in this so after careful testing and deliberation with myself, I would say that I actually like the NBA basketball more than the other one, even though I shot better with this one. I think I'm just used to it. I like this ball. It just, it makes me feel like an NBA player. You know, it makes me feel like Devin Booker. You know, I look the same as him. He's basically my twin. Um, it does kind of feel like you have like an outdoor basketball and yeah. it kind of has that feel to it, that grainy feel. It kind of feels dirty and a little bit rough. Yeah. I suggest this ball. The only thing is it's $200, so. I don't know if that'll let you. It's $200. Who the hell's gonna pay for it? <laughs> it's really for NBA players. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Evan. And today I'll be reviewing these balls. Yo, what is going on? What are you doing in my room? What are you doing with the camera set up in these balls? What are you doing and where are my clothes? I told you last time, don't be doing this. It's so weird. You just keep on coming to my place and just freaking filming. The f Yo, get out! Get out! <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Evan and today we will be reviewing these balls. Get the hell out of here! Anyways, let's get into the review of the official NBA basketball by Wilson. Wilson! <laughs> Starting off with the looks and the initial thoughts, I don't know why, but I was definitely expecting something a little bit more extravagant when it came to this ball. I know, it's a basketball. How much more extravagant can it get? But for it being the official NBA basketball and for it being $200, it was underwhelming as f my initial thoughts when I saw it and when I was feeling it was it looks and feels like an outdoor basketball. You know, the ones that are a little bit rougher around the edges so it can withstand concrete. Even the lettering border is gray. I don't know why I thought it was going to be gold or just black. When watching the NBA games, I feel like the ball looks a lot more brighter and even more orangey. Even the box is disappointing as hell. I mean, it's just a box. I know. How much more was I expecting? But $200 for a basketball, I felt like this should be better presented, you know? The looks in the initial thoughts rating of the Wilson official NBA basketball is a 5 out of 10. But all of this has nothing to do with the performance of the basketball and why NBA players are complaining about it. Let's get into the performance aspect of the ball right now. Moving on to the grip of the... Oh. Moving on to the grip of the... Oh. Evan, stop bouncing that damn ball. Okay, mom. I mean Love you. Moving on to the grip of the basketball. I can't palm this shit. Moving on to the grip of the basketball. Even though I was losing grip there, the ball is actually really grippy. Comparing it with the Wilson Evolution, you know when the Wilson Evolution has one of those good days and it's really grippy? That's one of the best grips in the world. Well, the official NBA basketball by Wilson doesn't have as good grip as the Wilson Evolution on its best days, but it's also not as bad as the Wilson Evolution on its worst days. This Wilson Evolution is very inconsistent. It depends on the the weather, the climate, the indoors, the courts, you know, there's a lot of things that factor into this ball. The NBA basketball definitely isn't as inconsistent as the evolution. It's a consistently solid grip. And you should know that real NBA basketballs are made out of leather, not composite leather like the evolution is, but real leather does take time to break in. But honestly, after one time playing with this, it does feel consistently good. The feel is deaf different from amateur balls though. So if you're not used to the feel of leather balls, you know, high quality balls, you know, high quality quality balls, not that wax stuff you guys be messing with. You're gonna be shooting like us in the video. <laughs> but more on the feel after this. The grip rating of the official NBA basketball is 8.5 out of 10. All right, moving on to the feel of the basketball. The grip does have something to do with the feel, but I can't really explain it. It's just something you know as a basketball player. The bounce, the grip, the weight, the seams on the ball, every little dot that is on the ball, the feeling of the ball when it comes off your fingertips when shooting it, all has something to do with it. Now I could make a ball in tip joke but you know that that would be immature of me so i'm not gonna do that i'm working on myself people and when dribbling and shooting this basketball it feels really smooth once you get used to it like i said earlier you definitely won't be used to it at first as you have to break it in a bit as you guys saw me and my friends we were kind of struggling out there shooting with this ball that was the first time we all touched and shot with this basketball we're all good shooters all right trust me right we're all good shooters right no. watch my other videos you see me draining those shots i do this i'm a shooter to continue with the feel it does feel slightly heavier than the wilson evolution you know when you shoot with the evolution it has that softness like when it hits the rim, it kind of bounces in there. The NBA basketball will hit it like a brick and bounce the hell out there. In addition, after shooting with the NBA basketball and shooting with the Evolution, it felt like shooting a basketball after you did some push-ups, you know what I'm saying? Or you lifted some weights or, you know, you shot with a medicine ball or a weighted basketball. I would know because I'd be in the gym working out a lot. The gym is my second home. 
I've never seen you go to the gym. What are you still doing here? Get the hell out of here. The field rating of the official NBA basketball by Wilson is a 7 out of 10. It's just a little rough feeling at first and you definitely won't be used to it because it doesn't feel like composite leather. And I know what you're thinking and saying. You saw me shoot like with the official NBA basketball and saw me and my friend shoot a lot better with the Wilson ball. Like I said earlier, I'm a shooter. It's what I do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but after playing with this ball some more, I actually like the feel of it more than the Wilson Evolution. You should have seen me shoot with this ball after we filmed the test. I was draining them boys or girls or they them with this ball. Moving on to the durability of the official NBA basketball. As far as durability goes, I've been playing with this ball for a month or so and it's holding up. Better be $200. Even my evolution Evolution ball, which is beat the hell up. But I played with this ball for years and even outdoors and it's held up. I still use it today. It held up a lot better than my Spalding TF-1000 ball, which is a little beat up. And I did play with this outdoors. I know it's an indoor ball, but I had no other option. I played with it outdoors. But yeah, I am not gonna make that mistake with the Wilson NBA basketball. I'm not playing with these outdoors. One is freezing out. I'm not gonna be playing with this outdoors. It's like 20 degrees out today. It's like 45 degrees. Get the hell out! Get out! And two, this shit was expensive. I don't want to ruin it. I might even be that guy who won't allow other people to play with their balls or sit on it. Honestly speaking, I think this ball is going to last me. Even though in the NBA, they switch out their basketballs and they got an unlimited amount of official NBA basketballs, it would still be a bad look if the official NBA basketballs were to be worn down or break or pop. So they definitely got to make sure that the ball is top notch. I know with sneaker brands, signature athletes in their signature shoes, the signature athletes have slight modifications in their actual shoes than the ones sold to the consumers but I don't think that's the case with this basketball because well it's a ball unless they add something to the ball to make the NBA players not miss because you ever go to an NBA game and watch those motherfuckers warm up even Ben Simmons never misses what the hell and he sucks durability rating is a TBD a to be determined because I've only been playing with it for a month but as of now I gotta say 10 out of 10 okay overall with all jokes aside with all the NBA players complaining and shit, this is definitely a solid ball I would know solid balls when I see one and hold one and feel one. Hey, yo. Get the hell out! This is a solid basketball. I don't know what the official Spalding NBA basketball feels like, so I don't have that to compare it to. I'm just saying as opposed to the balls that I'm used to. Basketballs, you Holes. It definitely feels rough when you first use it, but after you wear it in a little bit, it definitely feels a lot smoother. Now, if you're asking me if it's worth $200, no, unless you got it like that, like. Is this fake money? Why are you exposing me like this? <laughs> Yes, it's fake. Give it back. Give it back. In addition, the Wilson official NBA basketball sells out a lot and is in limited quantity on the website. So if you want it, you definitely got to be on top of your game to cop this ball or just go to an NBA game and steal it. Also, unless you're playing professionally like my friend Jaquiel, you might not need a real leather basketball to play with. Basically, play with whatever type of ball your league plays with. But of course, if you got hope dreams and want to play in the NBA one day or another professional league where they play with leather balls or just a super NBA fan that just got $200 to spend on a basketball. Go for it. The overall rating of the official NBA basketball by Wilson is a 7.6 out of 10. If anything, draw a face on it, make it your friend. $200, I might do that. Wilson! Wilson. <laughs> Okay, can you pick up all the money I just threw on the ground? All right, yo, it's time to pick the winner of the Band NBA sneaker giveaway. I'm gonna do it live so you know I'm not cheating or nothing. All right, here comes the screen. I'm gonna draw the winner right now. Draw winners. Draw, let's go. Good luck, everybody watching. Do, 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 do. And the winner is entry number 359, Spencer Dirks. Are you related to Dirk Nowitzki, by the way? Anyways, you, my friend, are the winner of the APL Super Futures size 11, the Band NBA sneakers. The entry that was picked was actually your Facebook entry, so who says Facebook is dead, people? Shout out to everyone who entered the competition. More giveaways in the future. I'm gonna be giving away bigger and better things. Just know that. Stay followed, stay subscribed, because I'm gonna be giving more stuff away as time goes on. Don't be one of those people who, after the giveaway, unfollows. Nobody likes those people, man. Shout out to everyone who entered. Until next time, we out. Peace. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Spencer, enjoy these shoes. It's gonna make you jump higher. All right, guys, that concludes the video of the official NBA basketball by Wilson. What do you guys think? You think the NBA players are right to complain about the ball? I think it's a solid ball, but then again, I'm coming from amateur balls comparing it to the official NBA basketball, and they're coming from the Spalding basketball. It might feel a little bit different to them, but after a while playing with this basketball, I actually have come to really like this basketball, and I'm gonna use it as my main basketball because, well, it was $200. I better get my use out of it. And, you know, when people see me, they'll be like, oh, sh
that dude's official. He got the official NBA basketball. He must be good. And then you're gonna see me like, bop, 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 with the basketball. Jay it up, because I'm a shooter. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Anyways, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to smash that like button. Watch my other videos in the playlist up there and down there. Let me know what you think of the official NBA basketball. Until next time, we out. Woo! Peace.